What is going on guys and welcome back to another video of football refereeing tips. Today's video is going to be on how to improve positioning as a football referee. If you are new here, go check out my older videos uh, and see what this channel is all about. All about helping you become a better referee and improve your refereeing. So how can you improve positioning as a football referee? Don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get into the video. All right, first things first, diagonal. I think the first thing you are told when doing positioning on the course is how to run the diagonal while refereeing. You follow the diagonal path across the pitch to always have assistance in view between you and the ball. So if your assistants are always on the left backs of the, of, uh, the left side of play, right wings, left backs, then you are running from right back to right back across that way. So you always have your assistance in view and you can get close enough to the ball and it just allows for optimum angle between you and the assistant referee. Um, it gives you a way to make an angle across the pitch. If you need to travel in inside to that right, uh, where the assistant is to that left back, then you can do that. But it's just in terms of running, you want to be doing a diagonal. It also keeps you out of the way of play. You know, if they zoom, uh, zoom off right, then you can carry on going left. It'll give you a good angle to see the play and your assistants uh, will be able to give any free kicks near them if that is where the play goes. Uh, next, you want to follow the play. Keep the ball between 10 to 15 yards away from you at all times. You don't want to be miles away from the ball, 20, 30 yards away, because it'll be very hard to see any small incidents. But you don't want to be too close and on top of play because you can get in the way. And it can actually be quite hard to see if you're literally right there as well, because you can't see any tugs uh, from behind or anything if you're too close to the play. I also follow the play up to the corner flag and the penalty area. I see so many referees that are scared to get to that corner and are scared to step into the penalty area. If you're being assessed, you need to get into that penalty area. It gives you a good view, a good angle, and it just makes sure that you are close to play. And if you need to give a penalty, then the players can't argue because you're right there. And up to the corner flag, make sure you get right the way up. Uh, again, in terms of positioning and if you're getting assessed, that is where they want you to be. Uh, you, as I said, you can break the diagonal to ensure you get a better angle. So if you're going from right back to right back, you can move in closer to that left back to get a better angle if it will help you. Uh, in terms of positioning during goal kicks and penalty kicks, if you see in the top left of the pitch, that is where you stand on the corner if it's being taken from where the penalty thing is at the bottom. Um, and you'd be standing on the other side if it was be the corner if the corner was being taken from the top left hand corner. So you stand on the other side of where the you stand on the other side of where the corner is being taken so you can see the players um, and you can see uh, where the ball is coming in. And your assistant should be able to see a ball in that play. If you don't have assistance, get closer to the goal line so you can see if it crosses the line. And then at the bottom of the screen we have penalty. That is where you stand if there is a penalty. So you should have your you should be looking and have your assistant in that eye line. You can see the ball kicker, you can see the goal um, goalkeeper, and you can see most of the players uh, on to your right outside of the box, which is exactly what you want to happen. You can see everything, and nothing is going to go unnoticed. And you can see in the middle of the pitch to the top we have the goal kick that is where you stand if the goal kick is happening from the left hat side of the screen. So where the corner and the penalty arrows are, if the goal kick's being taken from that side of the pitch, that is where you stand for a goal kick on the left side. And then on the right side, uh, the goal kick is where you stand. So you're in the, if you're in, you're in the, um, the bunch of players, you can see what's happening, see what's going on. And um, yeah, you're closing in play. That is where you stand during goal kicks, corners and penalties. And lastly, moving on to the assistant referee. As the assistant referee, you want to stay on the second last defender. So wherever that second last defender is, that is where you should be up until the halfway line, where you don't go past halfway line because you can't be offside in your own half. If the goalkeeper is ahead of the last defender, the goalkeeper is then the second last defender. So if there's a, go if there's a, um, a defender on the goal line and the keeper's ahead, of that goal line, the goalkeeper is then the second last defender and that is who you follow for the offside. I've seen so many clips of 
um, commentators saying, oh, he should have been offside because he's behind a defender, but the goalkeeper's pushed up, so it can't, so it is offside. Um, anyway, always flag uh, in the left hand while crab. Sorry, <clears throat> always keep the flag in the left hand while crabbing. Always want that uh, flag on your left hand unless you are going to walk or run uh, sideways, which means um, keep it in your right hand so that the flag is always uh, in view of the referee. So that's what you want to do. Always keep your uh, flag the referee side of play. Um, and also position yourself on the left back of the team who's half foot in. You want to be, you want to be on left backs that side of the pitch, and you want to be in line with the second last defender. Anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. That is all about positioning and how to position as a referee. Thank you for watching. If you've liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.